going upstairs. I'm back with a new upload. It's been a while. Um, and I'm using a different fighter now. Using Vander Holyfield. And I'm obviously, as you can see, we're going up against Kobe Nichols. And before, what's funny about this thing, I never used to be able to beat Kobe Nichols, ever. Every time someone else would pick that guy, I don't know. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's, I, I just got better. But before, I would never be able to beat him. As, as you see me knocking him down right there, he was playing a little bit too aggressive. Playing way too aggressive the whole fight, especially for the first two rounds. He did stun me. I didn't able to catch it on uh, film. I didn't clip it. I tried to get that clip, but it happened too long ago in the first round. And I ended up pushing him away, trying to get away. Barely got away. My health was super low. He was about to knock me down. Caught him, caught him throwing too many punches in. Using Holyfield, you got to be precise because he's a slow puncher in this game. And Nichols' punches are going to get there faster. And his combinations are deadly if they land. So I just tried to move away and sidestep or slide back to throw uppercut and catch him. So I just did work to the body and bring it up to the head. So you can see we're going to the body right here, making a miss, moving ahead. He starts to catch me right here a little bit with the straight, the jab and the straight right. I'm getting clocked right there for a little bit. It's all about keeping your composure, not getting too aggressive, making a mistake. I would throw in combinations in one, two, or just single punches and the damage I had up in. Right there, I caught him again lacking, playing way too aggressive. Caught him when his stamina was low from throwing those all those punches. And body hit, man. That shit's literally unstoppable in this game. So round four, um, I'm getting more aggressive now because I know for sure his stamina uh, bar is going down and I burned him out. A little bit by those body shots and those counter punches and just his punch output being a lot and missing right there again I mean, it's just i'm making him pay for a miss on all those punches he's throwing that's not that's why it's like really not good if you play like a counter punching a guy like myself and guys that are way better me better than me at this game they're really gonna make you pay i'm i'm just a casual i play this game for fun and i i try my best and i usually Counter punch and go to the body head. And that's how these guys lose. These over aggressive pressure fighters lose. The only time I really lose to a pressure fighter, whether it's Marciano, Tyson, because you know Marciano, his his stamina in his game and his chin is maxed out, heart maxed out. If the guy knows how to keep on get, he knows how to get up. He'll just keep getting up and wait till you get tired. Don't matter how many times you knock him down. You know, coming back, you know how to use him. Um, that's the training in the background. I don't know if you guys heard that. That one right there, just perfect, perfect timing right there. Had had the taunt real quick. Had to hit him with the taunt button. He was taunting me earlier when he had stunned me. Well, before he had stunned me, excuse me. And unfortunately, I didn't get that clip on my Xbox. But yeah, we see we got him up out of there. He's done. Overly aggressive, Kobe. Nichols player and he's done. He's out of there. I'm gonna be out. I'm head out. Y'all have a good night. Y'all have a good day. Whenever, whichever time of the day you guys are watching this, I'm out in peace. I like the way he finished things tonight. Is your winner by knockout in a fight that he controlled throughout? I'm glad you like it. Just as importantly, or more importantly, his trainer, his manager.